How you doing? My name is Carlos Ramirez, owner of NBS Audio in Roselle, New Jersey, and welcome to Tool Time Tuesday. <clears throat> Today I want to talk about the Solus Edge. This is the unit I was telling you about last week um, when we were showing you the old model that we had. The Solus Edge is the upgrade to the Ethos that we had. Um, this unit's about $4,000. It's touchscreen. It's upgraded to the lowest. It's upgraded to the uh, highest firmware currently. It does European, uh, American, Japanese. It's Wi-Fi enabled, so you log into your wireless network. Once it sees a code on the car, it, if you hit the button, you hit the wrench, it'll help you diagnose and tell you the most common problems, the most common parts change for that part. We don't really use that feature that often because we're not a mechanic shop, but it, it is a nice, helpful feature, especially if you're working on a car you're not familiar with and if you don't understand what's going on. Um, it's got a lot of features. It lets you activate certain stuff in certain cars, so you can test switches, um, releases, solenoids, it's got live data, so you can go ahead and activate the functions on the car, and it'll power find the screen, whether it's working or not, checking sensors. We normally use it for uh, airbag codes um, to clear airbag lights after disassembling the dash and cycling the ignition. When we remove the audio system from the car, we want to make sure that, that it's happy and it's still communicating with the other modules in the car. Uh, it's a powerful tool. Every shop should have a scanner. I understand if you can't afford one like this. It took us years to get to the level where something like this was cost effective for us, but it is, it helps us work on these higher end vehicles and it works really good. Uh, if you can't afford a new one, get yourself a used one, but the software updates will cost you a few hundred dollars each. And Snap-on has changed the way that they do the updates this year. Normally we would wait until we were doing a car that needed an update, then go ahead and pay a couple hundred bucks for the update. They don't do it that way anymore. They want you to upgrade the software every year. And if you don't, when let's say it's two three years down the road it's gonna be five hundred dollars or six hundred dollars to get you up to date so they're basically forcing you to spend a couple hundred bucks and update the software every year it is what it is everybody's in business to make money uh thank you see you next week okay i'm gonna show you the solace in action this is a 2010 camaro that we're putting back to stock he's trading the car in we did a custom ipad install with the sony head unit behind it so we plugged it in we let it do a quick scan I'm expecting to see codes for the radio because obviously the factory radio is not in and codes for the taillights because he's got custom LED taillights. There's the code for the taillights. Hit custom wheels, so of course we have codes for the tire pressure sensors. Now, since this unit is Wi-Fi enabled, when I see something and I'm not sure where to start checking, you click on it, you click on this little wrench in the upper right hand corner, and it's going to give you possible scenarios on what caused the problem, how to fix it, and how the particular circuit works. Very nice to help you troubleshoot. And after you're done, you can go ahead and clear all codes ran by the scan. That's it, code's cleared.